Welcome to Seeking Equanimity. I'm your host, Doc Jana, and I'm really excited that you're taking a few moments for yourself to find peace, stillness, and tranquility. Let's journey together. I've spent a lot of time questioning things. I feel like it's been years of my life questioning things like, you know, is this the only way? What does doing it right look like? Does any of this matter? And I had a pretty fairly religious upbringing and that provided some temporary answers to questions that held enough structure for me for long enough that until I found a better answer or one that resonated in my heart as true, I could hold on to whatever religion or scripture had dictated. Coming into the second half of life, if I'm lucky, (laughs) I'm realizing that there just clearly can't be a single way. Just by mere virtue of the fact that each of us is so incredibly unique, there simply cannot be one way. I fathom that there are as many ways as there are people. But that doesn't mean that there is not some truth in that which each of us considers to be sacred. And wasting our energy judging each other for finding something different sacred seems absurd. So, I'm on a new journey, I guess, and I would invite anyone who (laughs) wants to come along to come along because it's an unfolding it is a searching a seeking and a yielding to all that's come before but all that could yet be in that which has come before i'm finding joy and truth and light and radiance in different aspects of different worldviews, different religions, different philosophies, different faiths. There is truth everywhere. There are also shenanigans everywhere. (laughs) Just like every person is a little bit full of it (laughs) or a little bit unable to see their own foibles, every faith, every philosophy, and every tradition has its own version of that lack of of sight, lack of clarity, lack of truth, honestly, right? A little bit of lack of truth. But just because there's a little bit of confusion, a little bit of murkiness, a little bit of falsehood or inconsistency doesn't mean that nothing in that entire ecosystem could possibly be true or ring true or resonate for someone. I think where we get tripped up is that we feel like it's an all or nothing proposition. I gotta be all this or all that or none of that or none of this and it's it's too black and white and I admit like (laughs) ask anyone who knows me (laughs) I have definitely been caught in the trap of black and white (laughs) for real though (laughs) I think it's time for us to open up be both inquisitive and gracious Let people live and be who they are and also find your own truth. And can you find your own truth and create your own boundaries around it without being cruel, without being unkind, without being judgmental? Can you hold one way of thinking and believing and yet still extend kindness and love to those who disagree with you? I see us struggling there so much and it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. 
as someone who's had the great good fortune to move freely about the globe, the earth, and experience cultures all the way around it, it is heartbreaking when we lose sight of the fact that there are differences between us, but those differences pale in comparison to our similarities and to what we can learn with and through and from each other if we just get present, get clear, quiet down the noise, get out of our feels and defensiveness, and just be with people. Be with yourself and learn to be okay with the parts of the journey that you don't understand. But don't stop seeking. Don't stop looking for the truth that resonates. Just be kind to yourself and to others while you do it.